Today we are going to configure a block of network storage and make it available to a host using iSCSI. First we will start and license the iSCSI service. We will then configure iSCSI for Windows 2012. Then we will create a LUN using NetApp System Manager and then finally access that LUN from the Windows Server 2012. Terms to remember is target and initiator. The target is where the storage is and the initiator is the host that wants to access that storage. We first need to check using the CLI the status of the iSCSI service. If not, iSCSI start is the command to use. We now move to the NetApp box to license iSCSI. Go to Systems, Tools and Licenses. Add a new license and enter a valid key. Close. You will now see iSCSI in Protocols and LUN in Storage where previously they did not exist. Next we move to the host to configure iSCSI. Use the search and find iSCSI initiator. If the service is not running, use this pop-up to configure it. Go to the configuration tab and take note of the initiator name as this will be used later. You could easily copy and paste this one. Go to the discovery tab and click discover portal. Type in the IP address of your storage and then click advanced. In local adapter choose iSCSI and in initiator IP choose your local host. Click OK and OK. Click on the target tab and you will see that the initiator is inactive. Click on connect after highlighting the initiator you wish to connect with. Enable multipath and click advanced. At local adapter choose iSCSI. At initiator IP choose the local host IP and at target portal IP choose your storage address. Click OK and OK. It should now say connected. Just check the favourites targets tab to make sure that it has been added to your targets. We now move back to NetApp to create a LUN. Go to LUN and create. Just follow the wizard. Give the LUN a name and a description. After that choose what type. For this we will use Windows. Define the size and decide whether to thin provision or not. Click next. Choose which aggregate to use. As only one exists the choice is quite easy. Change the volume name or accept the defaults. Click next. We now need to add an initiator group. Add a name and then click on the initiator tab. Choose add. And then enter the initiator name that we recorded earlier. Click OK. Once it's been entered. And then click create. Tick the map check box and then next. You will see a summary display of the LUN to be created. Click next to create the LUN. One LUN created. We now need to access the LUN from the host. Go to computer management on the host and then disk management. If the new drive doesn't appear, right click on disk management and rescan the disks. Your new drive will appear but it is not yet ready for use. You first need to initialize the disk and then create a new simple volume. Just follow the wizard, choose the sign and assign a drive letter for it. 
select the file system and in the volume label give it a new name. You will see a summary and then click finish to create the volume and format it. You can now go and check in Windows Explorer and find your new device as an extra drive. Thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed this presentation.